What's going on, guys? Uh, welcome to Bear Market Country. So, in all honesty, I mean, nasty, nasty day in the stock market today. We all know that. I don't really need to get into, you know, all of the, the small little technicals as to, you know, what happened today. If you were watching the market today, if you happened to turn on the news today at some point in time, um, you know that we're down and we're down pretty significantly. So, when you're talking about the triple Qs being down five point, you know, 5.04% on the day, 16 hand, uh, 16 uh, points, and, you know, at one point closer to 6% on the day. Um, and then we're talking about 2022 being down well over 20% on uh, the mega cap stocks, which is your triple Qs ETF. Guys, this is a bear market. Um, you know, there's only three times in history that, uh, you know, we've had such swings like this. 2008, uh, mortgage, financial crisis, uh, and the Great Depression, uh, COVID, and then now, right? So three, four times in all of history where, you know, one day we're up three or 4% in the ETFs, and then the next day we're down four or 5% in the ETFs and vice versa. So if you kind of want to get into more of the finer details, you know, this is a start or, and currently uh, the process of being in a recession, um, there's no way to kind of sugarcoat things. You know, it is what it is. If you just kind of look at, you know, what's going on with the online sales numbers, uh, you know, from some of the largest retail chains, they're all down significantly. Traffic is down. Sales is down 20%, 30%, 40% on some of these um, on some of these big companies. So, you know, when you really look at that, when retail spending is starting to slow down, uh, you know, interest rate hikes are in increasing um there's no you know follow through in any of uh the upward moves this is a bear market if you have not traded in a bear market well welcome to the party um you know it is what it is this is not a time here to you know to be joking around and, and goofing off and saying you know well this is the perfect time to buy maybe it is maybe it's not um, you know, stocks can definitely come down. Let's just look at the triple Q's chart here. We're looking at 309.71 as today's lows. This is the weekly chart here. Weekly chart is below every single macro level of uh, support. Um, currently today, we closed under the 100 EMA. We also are below the 100 simple moving average. We are approaching the 150 day simple moving average and we have the 200 day simple moving average on the weekly time frame, sitting down here at 260. Um, if you think that things can't get any worse, Come back if things keep progressing and watch us be down 260, 287 on the triple Qs. If you don't think that stocks can go lower, they will quickly show you that they are lower. Uh, realistically here, if I just kind of go over to the daily time frame here, this chart is absolutely atrocious. So what is a bear market? A bear market is going to be, you know, uh, green day, green day, green day, dead cat bounce, dead cat bounce, followed by a big rug pull. Uh, sideways action, sideways action, sideways action, green day followed by a rug pull. You have to look at the overall chart on the daily time frame. This downward trajectory that we've been in, majority of the candles here, the bigger pull candles, uh, the bigger pull candles are red. Yes, we get our green days. This is a dead cat bounce stuffed into the 200 day moving average, rejected. Dead cat bounce stuffed into the 200 day moving average, big leg down. Big intraday reversal stuffed at the 20 day moving average, big leg down. Nice two and a half week rally stuffed at the 200 day moving average, big leg down. Um, the volatility is absolutely insane. Here's what you need to look at. If you're looking at trying to load up because stocks are cheap, there's pain in the market. I understand that, but you don't want to put 100% of your portfolio into, into that. You want to kind of nibble in on some plays. There's definitely some room down here. There's really no long trade until we get back over the 50 day moving average. And now if you want to start averaging down on some positions, you can do that, but you have to understand that there's room down to go. This is not the bottom by any stretch of the means. If this is the bottom, we won't be able to tell that until we reclaim the 200 day moving average, 
which is sitting at $366. Let's have a conversation when that happens, and now let's call this the bottom. But until that happens, which is up way up here, until that happens, this is not the bottom. Anything below the 50-day moving average is just a rejection spot. So even if we have some sort of dead cat bounce, multiple day rally, multiple day bounce here, doesn't mean that the selling is over, guys. That I, I keep seeing this over and over and over and over and over on social media. Every time we have a green day, everyone thinks it's time to start loading the boat. Until we get over the 50-day moving average, let's leave that conversation to the wayside. Until that uh, we reclaim the 200-day moving average, let's leave that to the wayside. So what we're looking at here is a huge line in the sand at 309.62. Anything lost below 309.62 is definitely going to spell another leg down. Um, how low we can go, we do have room down to around 30 let's see here we're gonna have to pull up the weekly time frame we got room down to the lower bollinger band here which is sitting at 304 below 304 we're looking at you know 287 290 price target on the triple q's if this does want to extend down weekly time frame is putting in this uh inverse hammer candle here it is still slightly green we do have to see where we close tomorrow if we do get some sort of bounce right if we get some sort of bounce uh we could bounce into 318 think about if you are you know, if you're a trader, you're going to love trading both sides of the market, right? You're going to love this volatility. You just need to make sure you're on the right side of the trade. If you're looking to go long, make sure you have a strategy that's going to permit you to go long, but also know that you need to have a stop loss if that goes against you. If we're looking to go long, we need to be taking profits into 318. There's no, you know, thinking that, well, we can get to 318, but maybe we go to 330. We're not here to think about that. We're not here to speculate. We need to let the price action kind of prove us. Uh, prove it to us that it's going to actually do that. So if there is a, a setup that, according to your st uh, strategy, is going to allow you to play something on a uh, dead cap bounce, make sure that you guys are taking profits and monitoring the triple Qs into the 318 section. If we do come up to 318 and even come up to 321, we could still get rejected here, start to roll over, and the next actual big flush down is going to be below 309. So a lot of people are thinking that, yeah, you know, this is a 5% pull on the NASDAQ 100 today. Maybe this is just going to stop. Maybe, you know, this is extended uh, selling here. You know, we can't go that much lower. All it takes is a one or two day bounce for this to have another extended leg down uh, below 300. I mean, below 309 to get you to, to uh, you know, around 300. Um, you know, definitely anything below 330 on the queues is definitely, you know, you want to, especially if you're looking to swing trade or or uh, play something in a long portfolio account, you want to stay away from stocks. There's no rush to get into anything right now. There is no rush to go buying anything. Uh, the, the selling is not over. The, the stock charts and the technicals are have proven to us time and time again that the selling is not over. So it doesn't matter, you know, who had great earnings. It doesn't matter, uh, you know, if the interest rate hike, the 50 uh, basis point interest rate hike was was baked in already. The selling is not over. The selling is not over until the fat lady sings. The fat lady does not sing until the triple Qs get back over 366. It's it's plain and simple. Now, like I'm saying, for investors, yes, this is going to be a tough market for you guys to kind of navigate. For day traders, for scalpers, it's a little bit different. You have a, the, the luxury of not holding things overnight. We can play the dead cat bounces long, and we can play the macro flushes back to the downside. I would highly recommend everyone right now to start learning how to trade. I'm not saying you need to be some full-time day trader where you need to sit here and take 100 trades a day, but I'm just saying if you are looking to be invested in the market and you completely don't want to just sit on your hands for the next six months through this volatility, you need to learn how to trade. You need to learn how to trade options. If you, don't, if you go and look up the history of options, options was originally designed to be a hedge, okay? The way things are going now, people day trade these things, you know, they swing trade options, um, you know, they scalp options, all of that it has evolved so much. But the, the you know, options were originally designed as a hedge. So if you're holding things long term in your portfolio account, instead of watching things bleed out, learn to trade with the market flow and with the, the direction of the market and learn to trade options, use it as a hedge. If you guys are needing a strategy, first link down in the description box below. If you guys are needing a community to kind of mull over your trade ideas, join my Discord that, uh, description. It's down in the description box below as well. But, you know, just to kind of give you the levels, you can see here just going to 5.2 as well as today, 5.5, we have a double, uh, you know, tap here down at 309.62. 
any loss of 309.62 is going to spell a leg down. This is your short position. Th through 309 is the short position. Now, if we do have some sort of dead cat bounce, you're going to need to go to a smaller time frame and find some uh, minor levels of support. You can see the 309 here. You can actually see on the hourly chart that we do have room down to 306 before we actually absolutely need to you know, give some sort of a little relief bounce here on the bottom linear regression. But if you we just kind of look at here, anything over 314 and even 316 is going to have room to 318. Is that an exciting trade? Not really. Uh, if you're looking and you're desperate and you really want to play something long, 316 into 318, uh, that's a little move there. You can see it's going to get very, very congested between 319 and 322. All of these supply zones here is definitely something I'm going to look to stay away from. Only thing I'm really looking to play long tomorrow is, you know, between between like 315 and let's call it 318. And then I want to stay out of this nonsense here. And I want to get back in long if we get over 323 and I got some more room back up here to 330. That's the next zone. The zone to the downside definitely is the loss of 309.62. And we're looking at a price target of around 306. I hope this video helps you guys. Make sure to hit the like uh, and subscribe button. Make sure to comment. Let me know what you guys think. Guys, but welcome. This is a bear market. Whether you like it or not, whether you believe uh, that this is a bear market or not, you know, well, to each his own, but this is a bear market. I hope you guys are all staying safe out there, protecting your capital, doing things to manage your money like an adult. Uh, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.